Today on Cheap Thrills and Speakable Terror, we're going back in time to the early 2000s zombie craze. Get ready for some hot brain-eating action. Dead Meat, 2004. Director, Connor McMahon. Starring Marion Araujo and David Mulliard. A young Spanish tourist and an Irish gravedigger must work together to make their way to safety after a zombie outbreak occurs in an Irish countryside. Who will survive, and who will end up on the menu? Now, the zombie craze of the early 2000s can be traced back to two films. 2002's 28 Days Later, and the 2004 remake of Dawn of the Dead. This film, one of the earlier offerings in the craze, was greenlit as a micro-budget production by the Irish Film Board for about 110,000 euros, or 130,000 US dollars. Now this is a very solid feature film debut by writer-director Conor McMahon, who'd only done a few short films before making this one. It features a wonderfully tense and foreboding atmosphere in a variety of locations and scenarios, ranging from a claustrophobic house scene to a suspenseful midnight field crossing after the protagonist's car breaks down. The actors all play their roles very naturally and come across as real people trapped in an emergency situation with strangers. The pacing is solid and the story stays gripping from start to finish. Now, the causes of the zombies in this film are mad cow disease, which is very topical for a film from 2004. The zombie kills are very fun and creative, ranging from death by vacuum to shovel javelin throw. Now, the film is definitely influenced by Romero, Raimi, and early Peter Jackson, but it definitely has a style of its own. And if you're wondering if it's got any unique contributions to the zombie genre, I've got two words for you. Zombie. Cow. I'm dead serious. It's, it's amazing. The makeup is phenomenal, and the camera work and editing far surpass their budgetary limitations, delivering a solid viewing experience. Verdict, highly recommended. If you're a zombie fan, you're going to have a lot of fun with this one. That concludes this week's review. If there's any obscure sci-fi or horror films you'd like to suggest, feel free to leave a comment below. Make sure to tune in next week for another thrilling low-budget adventure.